This is Nightly Fix. Nightly Fix. Nightly Fix. Nightly Fix. Nightly Fix. On News Talk 93 FM. It's a fix. Bono. 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 Welcome back to Nightly Fix. News Talk 93 FM. It's a boy. Now here with Ari, DJ Burns, Dam Dam, Kieran, the intern. People, we got a very special, special guest in the building. Very special guest. Multi platinum selling recording artist from outer Canada. People, before there was Justin Bieber, <laughs> before there was Drake, there was Snow. Yeah. Welcome, Yay. Snow. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, There's a world feel chilly from, from the monster because of this man, right? <laughs> you knew you were coming. Yeah, you I, brought I, brought, I brought the chili, <laughs> I brought the snowstorm. <laughs> But luckily, I didn't hurt you with the real snow. I just give you the little coldness, you know what I mean? The breeze. I, the breeze. I don't want to, you know, make you too mad at me, you know? <laughs> but you've been falling all week, figuratively, because you've been, yeah, because yeah, you've been all over the media. You've been yeah. pushing your, your bat now mm -hmm. into the spotlight. Yeah. So talk about that, like, where, what, what were you doing <laughs> and um, what you're coming doing now? now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when I came with, I will do any, anything just for you. Mm -hmm. I just, after that, I just went back to Toronto and then I just kind of like chilled for a bit and just like didn't really, you know, I wasn't really feeling the music business. Not the music, but the music business. So I just kind of like laid off and said, ah, I don't want to do it no more. I don't want to do it no more. So anymore. what happened? Like what? Um, I woke up. I woke up. This I woke up first. This I woke up and said, yo, because in my neighborhood, there's a lot of Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. So they're like, yo, Snow, they miss you in Jamaica. Yeah. And I said, yeah. And they're like, yeah. And I said, all right, boom. Let me get up. You know what I mean? Dust myself off a bit and say, all right, let me start. And where am I going to start? I have to start in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So I come here just to learn and, you know, see Ninja, Kokati, and other people. So I just, I'm just here to learn. Yeah, and we'll just see here. up our Ninja man. Oh, oh the link that come about. Uh, oh, I've been with hip, hip friends with him for since 94, 95. Mm. Yeah, always with him before, so. Yeah, so you know, Ninja. so a future collaboration with Ninja, mm -hmm. always, yeah, always. of course, yeah, of course, you know. <laughs> it's funny how like we see you here and like Jamaican people like they readily accept you with open arms, mm -hmm. and like in US you have this controversy with Iggy Azalea where people kind of have her off because she's this Australian girl, she talks Australian, but yet yet still she raps in this dirty South, <laughs> yeah. Down south accent, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. People so, have an issue. Like you feel like you, you, you what, what? What do you attribute the love to in terms of the love that you get from an accent that you get from Jamaica? Um, in my neighborhood where I grew up, mm. I grew up in a in, in 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 a place where it was mostly all Irish, mm -hmm. and then all like a lot of Jamaicans and Trinidadians started moving into the neighborhood and they brought the reggae. So. I got the love from them from from day one. It was because mm. that's it was like since I was thirteen. It was just like my family everybody you know what i mean it was yeah. like that but when i came out with inform i still haven't come to jamaica yet so i'm like oh no you're right you are so, you are expecting I, something completely different you uh, like the, re the response you were expecting something different i was hoping what for what i got oh. <laughs> i was definitely but i was nervous i was yeah. like oh no i don't know if they like me you know what yeah. I mean? so it was kind of nerve-wracking but when i got to jamaica and it just showed me so much love. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It wasn't a black, a white, a this. They just said, Snow, he's got the love for the music and he has it in his heart. He's not trying to, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. and I'm learning. I don't try to act like I know. And I, uh, I'm learning. So they they accept and they say, oh, Snow. And the first person I ran into was Coca T. Mm -hmm. And that was my favorite singer growing up. So yeah. I was like, yo, go in there. They, he, they love you in Jamaica. So I said, ah, boom. I'm all right. No American, nobody can say anything to me. Mm -hmm. No hip hop people can. All right. I'm accepted by here. I'm good. That's all. That's so, good. And I thank you. And I thank your country. I love you. Know, you know, I won't ask you because when a bra, like they're saying, Snow the Rapper. Yeah. But mm. I don't you're rap. a DJ. Yeah, I don't <laughs> yeah. rap. So like, I rap presents at Christmas sometimes, <laughs> you know. But, so like you, 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 you cheat, like you let them know that, no, I'm a DJ or you just make it going. Like, they say, you're a DJ? You scratch records? <laughs> and I said, no, a DJ is this DJ. Because a lot of people don't know hip hop came from reggae. Yeah. You know dance what I mean? all, yeah. From mm -hmm. Cool Hurts. Cool Hurts brought it over to the Bronx. Mm hmm so um i don't know because <laughs> <laughs> i always say like why them call him the rapper he's a dj yeah i don't i don't rap i sing more like growing up i was i was more into not so much the dance hall yeah. i was more into coca t tennis song. oh the reggae yeah the, i was into mm -hmm. the reggae music so i was into that more so mm -hmm. and i'm still into that more so you know that's i what, think why black people more readily accept you because you know your song informer 
You talk about stabbing some. You really bought that life because it spent like some little time in a prison during a couple of years. Yeah, little so time. You bought that life for real. <laughs> yeah, I used to be, a, you know, a lot of trouble and stuff. Mm. So, you know, growing up, I like to fight and beat and stuff, all them kind of things, you know, going on and stuff. So, but now I'm. Your girl. You know, chill out. Yeah, <laughs> unless somebody starts. You know what you got? You got a problem? <laughs> No, but it's all positive now. So, you know, most of the drinking, it was the drinking before. You know, uh, I drink Irish whiskey and I act like an Irishman, you know. Mm -hmm. But now, I'm not so much Irish anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're more, mellow. I'm mellow. More J.A. Yeah, more J.A. Mellow. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading on that you did, a, um, like, your, your wife. Yeah. She, she passed away from cancer and mm. you have an organization. How is that? It's still about and what's uh, it doing now? Yeah, community? well, this song here, mm -hmm. all the proceeds go to, to, to the, to the um, cancer. What oh, song cool. is this? Shame. This is Shame with me and Michael Rose. This is a new mm -hmm. song, big song. So all the proceeds go to... Uh, is it cancer. abroad or...? It's a world. World? It's world. But it's it's a good cancer thing. It's not like I'm giving these money and they're like, oh, my God, I just spent $5 million on uh, trying to figure out stuff. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? This here is... If you have cancer, they'll help you get to the store. They'll buy you groceries if you don't have money. They'll really help oh, so you it's like, on, on. Okay, yeah, so it's not to fund the, 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 the cure. The cure, no. It's no. more to fund the people that have it and just, you know, help them. So, so how long ago she died? You can't talk a little bit? six, six years ago. You can't talk a little bit about her and... Um, well, yeah, she's the mother of my daughter. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about six years ago, she passed away of mm -hmm. cancer. So, you know, as the baby is the, the mother of my child. So I was with her since I was 15 mm -hmm. years old. You know, the mother. Yeah, she stuck with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, she stuck with me. So talk about how the link with Michael Rose come about for the, for the making of this song, Shane. Um, well, we went to Florida. Mm -hmm. So I was banned from Florida. They kicked me out of America in 93. Yeah, the man is about that life. <laughs> yeah, they banned me from America since 93 for life. Japan, they kicked me off for life. But this year, well, 2014, they let me back into America. Cool. They gave me my papers. So zoom, I went to the closest place that that was like Jamaica. I went to Florida. <laughs> right? And I was like, okay, let me go to Florida. So it was almost the same, you know what I mean? And then we were doing this song, Shame. And then Michael Rose came to the studio. And he heard, and he was like, yo. And we were like, Michael, please bless it. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's the person I grew up to listen to, Junior. We'd bear to leave and all them. Yeah. So he just blessed it. And, and we're going to do an EP together and more stuff. And so, because he's... He's amazing. Mm -hmm. He's real amazing. Yeah, so. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you're friends with um former Toronto Mayor, Mayor Rob Ford. You're oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. we love him here. We, we, love we him. wish we had a Rob Ford. We out. love him. Yeah, he's a dear <laughs> yeah. friend of mine. He has cancer. Yeah? Yeah, he, he, he's... he's he has a bad. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. So, yeah, he's trouble. He's a troublemaker. So, that's because why he like me. He just like, yesterday, let me hear him get kicked out of some council meeting today. Really? Oh, yeah, Rob of Ford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's Rob Ford for it. Yeah. So, why are, you drawn to, why are you drawn to him? Like, why? why no, he's he... drawn to me. Oh. I don't draw it. I don't know what it is. I draw all these, like, <laughs> like Ninja Man and all these people. I'm like, all right. You know what I mean? I just, I just, I think... I like the realness, like yeah. Ninja. Ninja's mm -hmm. just real. Mm -hmm. You don't get no this, no that, no this. It's real. He just tells you what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I just, I like the realness. So I guess, you know, these people just, you don't know Rob Ford. Rob Ford's a, 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 in, in a politics, so he's half real. Yeah. You know what I mean? The other half is probably. But I like about Rob Ford, he never got paid. He oh. never took a paycheck. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. he took that money that he's supposed to get paid and put it back into, to, he put it back into the into the city. Yeah. So I kind of like that. So yeah, like Rob regardless of all the craziness or coming out the news about Rob Ford, like he really does good work. Yeah, that's really what everybody has to say. Like, yeah, people like, rate him because him fun, what is real, <laughs> yeah. and him, him doing positive things for, for the city of Toronto. Yeah. Yeah, but what it was is he was against the police. Mm. Oh. Because the police were spending too much money. So he was against them, and he was trying to take the police's money and put it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So the police were like, all right, <laughs> well, I yeah, yeah, you, you better, get out. You you better get out. So they just kicked him out. So he's not the mayor no more. So mm. they threw him out. You have any plans to go into politics yourself? Who, politics? Politics? Um, <laughs> Same was, thing. Come on, in true the culture. <laughs> um, I wouldn't go. I would start my own. I wouldn't join anyone. Anyone. Yeah, I would, yeah mm -hmm. I would try to, you know, but. I gotta learn how to speak better and stuff and learn how to read and write. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, what'd that say, y'all? What? <laughs> Wait, but I always would, have speech writers saying so not for about that. Too. I wouldn't have speech writer. I have to do it myself because I don't want nobody saying anything, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'd be the best because I have love for the people and stuff. So, you know so, what I mean? I wonder if the people then would understand you in terms of, oh, to, oh, your spirit, the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, they say, well, I have to ask you, like, 
all of us here, we wanted you to tell us what exactly you said during that line. In what line? Is every song I sing you don't understand? <laughs> <laughs> people people want, to see, want you to clarify it. the lyrics in Informer yeah. and anything for you. So. Um, Informer. Informer was, I got charged with two attempt murders. Yeah. And so I went to jail. And then when I was in jail, I said, Informer, you know, so that I miss no me, I go blame. I lick you down, down. Is that, that R? So the, the, that steadily boom boom down or licky boom boom down is not really a word. It's just it was steadily boom boom down. I was just, right. Yeah, it's not I was even. right. I was saying it's not it's not words. You say it's just, yeah, it's just melodies. Yeah. yeah. Before it was uh, it, before it was licky boom boom down. It was steadily boom boom down. But then I guess by the time I got into the studio and everything, it just changed. That. I licky boom boom down. I thought it was you. I licked down the informer. Yeah, we can't say lick no boom, more. Boom. Ninja man said no. So um that's where it's just yeah, it's just that uh, in farmer, you know, say that it's not me on the blame, I'll keep on going down, take the money says that I stab I stab somebody down the huh? lane. So it's, yeah, I know, even when I talk you don't understand. <laughs> Detective said I stabbed somebody down the lane, so it's kinda simple. Oh, in farmer, okay. you know, say that it's not me on the blame, I'm gonna keep on going down, take the money says that I'm gonna stab somebody down the lane. Dun dun down. Something like that. Got it. Yeah. Now beating on me at not not in a big not that part. I know you think man, I see you looking. <laughs> it's um beating on me at boom boom boom. So it's not no sexual thing because a lot of people yeah. say you snow and I'm like no 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 it's just beating on me at boom boom boom. Guarantee me that come too soon. You know so it's just like. Okay. You know, something like that. But if I beat, then a beat, boom, guarantee not to come too soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? What? Clarify for me a bit, please. Clarify? What? Clarify. The, 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 said, the line? He said beating, boom, boom, boom. That's yeah, beating on my heart. But if you say beating on my heart, boom, 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 I'm put come too soon in a one sentence. Come I, on, Snow. You no, know, I know. I was drunk, but Stone Love used to say, sing Chinese. <laughs> Snow beating on me, I'm boom, boom, boom. Guarantee me to come too soon to get the girl and just hold on tight. Let my girl a bit on your mind. Some talk about this and say, some talk about that. Some of them not have no love indeed, not at all. Yeah. Some talk about this and say, some one with that. Yeah. Something, something like that, you know. And then I get the mic goes, two, two, twang. So I say, yo, Michael, you got to come out with a new song, Shame. And he said, two, two, twang. And I said, whoa, I'm blessed now. I'm good. So everything is nice. <laughs> <laughs> para, para, para. But you can just say like 50 words. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can't see that the talent is yeah, here, yeah. like in culturally in tune. So, yeah, my neighborhood. I can't question him, No, no it's, it's in my heart. Like I don't do it for a reason. I don't do it for acceptance or, or this or that. I just mm. do it because it was in my heart and it just came out. And and then Jamaica accepted and it was just beautiful. So, it was just. Yeah. All right, so you're back in the game now. So, like, how long you plan to stay here? In the game? And, well, <laughs> back, back in the game. Yeah. Uh, in how dance long? hall, the, the music industry. Yeah. Like, why you, you know, how long you planning to stay? Staying here for good or? In Jamaica? Or um, the, in the music? In the music? Whichever. Yeah, until I, I say, oh, I want to go home and go on a hammock again. <laughs> you know, I don't know no, that if, could happen tomorrow. But if, but if you ask it, um, we saw your MTV cribs a couple of years ago. You still have that crib there? No. Oh, no, we moved that. That was too far up north and it was just too cold. Uh, yeah, we're so down in Florida. We're at Cool and Dre studio now, Ken Jones and stuff. So, big up Cool and Dre and, and so. So, like, so you didn't have answer the question, like? I didn't? No, because you interrupt me. Yeah, I'm what? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, how long you can plan to stay? And, in Jamaica, I'm yeah. going to stay. I'm going to stay here. I'm here for two weeks. Mm -hmm. But the last time in 97, I came here for, I was supposed to be here for a month and I stayed for two years. So you never know. Yeah, and I had a daughter here, Darian, big up Darian, so it's like, you know. You was... made a daughter here? I made her here, yeah. Okay, cool. I didn't make her here, I, like, I didn't get the parts here and all this. <laughs> I didn't put it together, and, but yeah. She, came, she, she was I conceived in here. <laughs> I tell people it was the avocado, because when I was here, I was like my two daughters, I have two daughters, and they're the same age, mm -hmm. right? They're like three months apart. Darian's in January and, and Justice is in April. Ooh. So I blame it on the avocado because I was eating so much avocado here. I was like, ah, babies, babies, babies. I was like, oh. So I slow down on the avocado now. I'm like, okay, let me just slow down on the avocado. Let me get my career back together and do my thing. You know what I mean? So avocado, big up avocado, but you know, I can't do that right now. You know? Cool. Like, but what I ask you, like, when we look up the history of the song in Pharma, yeah. I see that it's the biggest selling reggae yes. single. Like of it made Guinness. Time. I had to write it down because it made Guinness Book of World Records. Of it's the time. biggest selling reggae single in U.S. history, yeah. and it's the highest charting reggae single in U.K. Charted for about eight, number one, eight weeks straight. Yeah. Um, like when you look back on that, how do you feel about that? I feel embarrassed a little bit. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I feel a little bit embarrassed because I shouldn't. I shouldn't have it. It shouldn't be there. You know what I mean? Why not? 
Because Bob. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, I got the biggest one. No, 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 no. So that's just, I don't know what that is. But I, guess but I love like, it. I love it because yeah. it's in the Guinness book because it's an Irish book. Yeah. That's an Irish family. The Guinness really? family yeah. is the same oh, yeah, Guinness. Yeah, it's the Guinness beer. Mm -hmm. That's the same family, right? So I was proud to be in that, but I was a little embarrassed because of me doing the reggae. You know what I mean? So, so you ever think he's like, was, maybe I'm, because that, you know, I'm I'm Canadian, I'm white, I'm, and I'm doing this Jamaican blacks music, then that's why. You ever thought that? Um, and that people no, I would have been, the... been number one in any kind of music I did. Yeah. If it would have been rock and roll, if it would have been country, whatever it is, I, whatever I do, I put my heart into it because I don't do it for a Grammy or I don't do it for exception. I don't do it for girls. Mm -hmm. I don't do it for nothing. I just do it for me and it just comes out. You know what I mean? So when you do it that and it's just pure, then big things people, will happen. People, people yeah, yeah. If you expect so much and, oh, I want the fame and I want the girls and I want the money, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. So I just... I didn't know. I just did the song and went back to prison again for a couple of years. <laughs> and then I got out and it was number one in the world. And I was like, what? Mm -hmm. I've never even been nowhere in the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I've been to Florida. I snuck there a couple of times, you know? <laughs> and now I'm like, number one, Italy, Paris, Rome, Jamaica. I'm like, wow. So it was kind of like overwhelming, you know? And then, then they started throwing me out all the countries. And America <laughs> threw me out and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it kind of like stopped my career too because I was signed in America. But then... My record company dropped me and stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, God bless them. <laughs> they're, <laughs> lucky. they're lucky they did. <laughs> <laughs> so you say you used to get trouble back then. Why you Bad trouble. Why do you think more man like Justin Bieber is from Canada as well? Why he should, yeah, he's thought, not sorry. trouble. He didn't grow up. I grew up trouble. I grew up fighting, stealing. I, I grew up. Yeah, run Jamaican people. Yeah. No, 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 no. I was a criminal before Jamaican. Oh, I'm Irish. I'm Irish. <laughs> I'm Irish. I think I even fed it to them. I think wow. I made them a little bit more in my neighborhood. But we were just. But it was all not bad. I wasn't. I was never a disrespectful person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't care if I was drunk or this or this or this. I, I never disrespected my elders or anybody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But Justin Bieber's knee. I know his mother real good. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, really. She, yeah, yeah. I know. I know Pat. So um. Uh, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. He's a little child. Look, he's like so young and the biggest superstar in the world. Mm -hmm. How are you going to act? You don't know how to act because you yeah. don't, you know what I mean? Mm. So, I don't know. God bless him. <laughs> if he gets into any trouble, you know, I tell him, come see me. You know, yeah, all right. Yeah. But, have, have Snow mentor you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but he's all right. So, yeah. what are the plans for the plans of 2015 and beyond? Um, I don't know. I live in the now. I don't live, I don't see that time. That time right there. What are you looking at over there? Like, he puts his head like, oh, no. <laughs> you ain't going with the now, are you? <laughs> yeah, because I um, when, um, you did that interview and they're asking you about Rob Ford and you're saying, like, no, he don't live in the past. I don't, the future doesn't exist and the past I said that? Exist. Yeah. Oh, I, I went on with that rant too. Yeah. <laughs> he I must have not been know. there. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, um, the plan is just to live in the now and do great things in Nessa, but, um, just do music and just run around and see who, uh, I, I vibe with, you know, Jack here and I. Every, mm -hmm. every interview I say Jack here, every day. <laughs> so it must happen, a, a collaboration. I put soon. it out there. Mm -hmm. You know, when you put it out there, it must happen. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's what I'm here for. I'm here to promote, see the people, see the press, and all that kind of things, and just catch a real vibe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like here, this week here, I'm working, 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 coming. Yeah, because. And then next week, I'm going. I'm out, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to the mountains. Mm -hmm. I'm going, you know what I mean? You spring, relax. spring water. I'm yeah, yeah, I wanna like catch a real vibe and catch a you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. All right. No so plugs, uh, no drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no no avocado. No avocado. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We've been chilly. <laughs> chilly. We don't know if we thank you, you for that. It. We don't know if we thank you for that or not, but well, definitely thank you for passing through snow. Yes. You know, say been busy all, all over the place. Yeah. Thank um, you for having me. And I love to set up here and you guys listen sound you like you have fun. I was outside the door when the door was shut and I hear, ah, pure laughter. We, we <laughs> like to have fun. Tonight huh? was a good night. We it like was. to have fun. <laughs> That's how you live. Have fun and do what you want to do and, 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 and you can't lose. True. You cannot lose. Trust me when I say that. You become, you become a professional at whatever you have in your heart. And then everything will come. The money or whatever you want will come after you. It's in the heart, but boom. <laughs> All right, tell the Wise people, words them, tell people them where they can follow you because back in the day, you never have them social media and them things. So tell you them where they can follow you. Oh. They didn't have TV and stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, TV or social media. Yeah. Uh, Snow DKO. Yeah. At Snow DKO, you could find the um, everything. You just go at Snow DKO and you can go on the Instagram and, you know, so right now, if you go to Instagram, you'll see me right here. You know what I mean? Big enough station. So that's where you go. So that's what we do. You know? <laughs> All right, that's new. Yeah, Nightly fix. Give it